ass kickers. Now is the time to have a brief discussion with you about the naturally just so versus changing your beliefs in order to change your results. Much of what is written and taught in self-development about changing your beliefs to change your results is false. I'm going to prove it to you. You dare me to do so? And I'm going to do it with talking about the naturally just so. Every morning, or let's just say every day, you fulfill a goal. Some of you fulfill that goal two, three, four, five, six times or more. And you've never thought about it. You didn't change your beliefs. All you did was think a thought, in particular a question, give yourself an answer, picture a number of possibilities, and then catapult yourself forward. And you have a 100% success rate with this naturally just so technique for your entire life. Think of that, a 100% success rate. Now, what could that possibly be? How about we say food, water, need go no further than that. But these things aren't important. It's only money that's important. It's only fame. It's only notoriety. So forget the naturally just so and focus on abundance. But if you do that, you're denying yourself the opportunity to see your 100% success rate. 100% success. You get up and it's sometime during the day unless, of course, you're fasting, you ask yourself the question, what do I want to eat? You ask yourself that usually after acknowledging you're hungry. A lot of people don't actually feel hungry and they're asking themselves this question. That's why they eat 15 times a day and are 150 pounds overweight. Another story. But what do I want to eat? is the question. You're acknowledging you want something to eat. You do not change your beliefs and think that you already are eating. You don't say to yourself, I am now eating a hamburger or a steak or some bean sprouts. You only picture the food you want. You form a mental picture of yourself without you realizing it. it's done unconsciously, or if you're awake, it's unconsciously. You picture that food you want, and you may even picture yourself eating it. Then you go get it. It's none of this three Ps of present tense, personal and positive. I'm now eating a steak. No, 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 no. I'm going to go get a steak. And I'm going to eat it raw. Just to challenge myself. I am going to eat. I am hungry. Report the truth. Now you've got a creative tension between what it is you want and where you are and you won't stop until that creative tension is resolved. That's how it works. It's a naturally just so. Think about it. Ponder it. 
and try to prove me wrong. I welcome your feedback. <laughs> but before you do that, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and forward this video to all your friends and cohorts, maybe even to some of your enemies. It'd be great. Spread it on social media. Do as I say, and as I do.